A week before the first day of school, parents and kids tested out new lap and shoulder seat belts that are equipped on a brand new fleet of Waltham school buses. Chang is a Whittemore Elementary School kindergartner. He struggled at first to fasten the belt but eventually got the hang of it. His mom and another mom are in favor of the new seat belts. I think it probably will help the safety issue especially for the kids if they're young and they might be wiggle on the seat. They're great. I think it makes complete sense and why wouldn't you want seatbelts on the bus? And I'm looking forward to the extra <laughs> safety that it's going to provide. The vote is six to nothing in favor. After unanimous approval by the school committee in March, the Illinois Central Bus Company won the new bus contract, their first in Massachusetts. School officials say they will use all the same bus drivers from the previous contractor garaging the fleet in Belmont near the Waltham line. Neither state law nor the school department requires seatbelt compliance on school buses. Parents who opt out benefit from design features of buses weighing more than 10,000 pounds, among the safest vehicles on the road, according to federal transportation authorities. Now they built the seats taller on these buses to make more safety positioning so kids can't fall in the seats or be hit from an accident. If a parent decides their child, you know, is not to wear a safety belt because it's a parent's choice. Um, the child is still protected with compartmentalization design of the buses. Um, and there is a seat belt cutter up by the front driver's seat that the, the driver could use if the seat belt's jammed. While older kids shouldn't have any problem, Officer Frasca said that younger kids will need to adjust the strap because they will be transported to school after middle and high school kids who will position the strap higher. To make sure the the shoulder strap comes across uh, their chest properly so it doesn't cut yeah. into their neck because that would not be a good fit. So can the bus driver help kids out if they can't fasten the belts themselves? As far as we know right now, you know, the driver will be just responsible for, you know, driving the student safely to and from school. And what about parents? Frasica added that parents are not allowed to board the school bus to help either. We'll have more on this story next week. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.